Alright, so today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a brochure using Adobe Photoshop. Um, the one I'm using is CS6, but almost all the versions are the same anyway, so that's not much problem. We're making a Z-type brochure, so it'll look something like this. This one, alright? This one here. So, let's get cracking. First, make a new document. It should be around 12 inches wide, and its height should be 9. I'll tell you the reason why later. Now, a basic Z fold brochure basically looks like this. First, it's divided into three, which you can fold it. It's a, it actually depends on your imagination on how you fold it, because the one I'm, I'm making now has a different structure to what's in here, so you just gotta remember the places. Assume that this line here is the divisor, and this part and this part here are on the same side of the paper. Well, this part is on the opposite side. First, we're going to make the front, this side first, all right? Now, I told you to put 12 inches so that you can easily divide it. So, put it there on 4 inches. Wait, use the brush tool. Brush tool there. Put it on 4 inches. Press shift. Well, then left click on your mouse to go make a straight line. Do the same for 8 inches. Oh crap. Uh, press the B button down first. Or, I meant left click first, then you press shift down on your mouse. Okay, now you divide it into three parts. Next thing you should do is to make three groups. Group 1. Group 1 would be here. Just make it, just call it, I don't know, title page, alright? This is here. The title page should be this part. This second part should be your second page of your brochure or whatever you're planning. But for this one, we're going to be following this. So the opposite side should be the back. These two sides you had should have content. Okay. So this will be the first page. The one behind it, not this one, just behind this paper, would be the first page. This one would be page two. The one behind it, page 3, this one is page 4, and this one is page, the last page, or the back page. So you can see that the, that the, that this side of the, of the paper is occupied by page 1, by pages, pages 3 and 4, so that's what we're going to name it. Page 3, and page 4. Alright, for the title page. You can put any title you want, let's say, no, I'll just copy my, alright, this is the one I already made, I use a different structure, so it will be kind of different, this is our front page, alright, it's our project for English, so, whatever, Corwin, our, this is the front page, this would be here, alright, and this side here would be this, the warnings and stuff. And this one would be this part of the paper here. Do the same for the other other side. But this time you need to change the change the layout. It basically goes like the other part needs to go like this. You should make two documents, alright? Just make a new one, same specs, then the same lines. Now you have three of them, right? Make three groups again. This group, this part would be this one, the one behind this, the one behind the title page would, which would be called page one. Page two would be this, this visible part here. Uh, one one. Page two. Well, this last one would be behind that, would be the title page. I mean the back page. So let's just name it back page. The back page you can actually do anything you want. It could be I don't know contact information or anything like that. For the person, but for the pur purposes of our brochure, I put in the warnings from Gladys, and that's pretty much it. You can let all of your your Photoshop skills go to make their magic over here because I just made a certain uh, around thirty minutes or something. So. So the title.
Potato cage. Potato cage here. And something like that. The potato cage should be here. And this one, right? It says potato cage here, but you put now it's in that group, right? You can just press that one to hide it. I just use groups so it'll be more arranged, but you don't really need to. Well, if you want a mess or anything like that. Title page, about the last page. Back page, put it there. Back page. There. As for these pages, one, two, three, and four, it's up to you to decide what you're supposed to do there. Either it be the features of your place or whatever, whatever the hell you're trying to do, that's pretty much it. And this is Alice. Well, that's pretty much it. I'll be making another one using Microsoft Word for those who don't have Adobe Photoshop. But it will be, it'll take me a couple of hours to do it because my internet's not that fast. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions and good luck to you.